Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube land, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we are going to be going over some JP translations. So huge shout out to Kriegs and whoever else may have uh, watched the JP stream, helped translate it, and then get it up into the Discord server. Thank you very much for all of your hard work. I do appreciate it a lot. Today we'll be talking about the Quest X Quest characters coming on the 17th of May, which should be about two days from now. The first character we'll be talking about is going to be the four star Lily. She will be a magical type character. Starting off with her ultimate, it will be a single target, very strong, light elemental attack, magic proportional rate to damage increases when the skill is used. That basically means uh, her uh, ability is going to be indexed from either her magic or it's going to be uh, she gets a temporary magic buff while she's using that ability. It's going to be one of those two. The first skill is an AOE weak light elemental magical attack. It's not, it's not too bad. Uh, I wish that it would maybe have, you know, like a little uh, temporary buff added onto it or some type of like, you know, 15%, you know, chance to seal, something of that nature, especially since it's just weak light element. But that's neither here nor there. Her second ability is going to be a single target strong light elemental of magical attack. The magic will either get a... Uh, temporary buff or it will be indexed from the magic and then she also applies a 20% debuff of magical resistance to the enemy for two turns and that's that's what I like to see that's what I like to see I like that debuff there then her last ability shields against two physical attack hits does not count towards ultimate skills that is huge that shield against two physical attacks is basically an MLB Chloe Lolo that's wild never mind i take it back that first skill i'm okay with it being like that now guys remember everything that we are about to read is subject to change when it comes to launch day and you know who knows these translations could be a little tweaked you know maybe here and there it could be a little bit uh incorrect so just keep that in mind when we're going through these uh assessments but this that's huge that's third skill that's that's wild that is wild the next character that we're going to be talking about is going to be the four star Naza. She will be a balance type. So even though balance type characters are a little awkward, they still can find a very niche place on your team, just depending on what type of uh, mob or event that you're doing. So her ultimate, starting out with her ultimate, we are going to have an AOE very strong physical attack. Also 30% chance to apply silence to the enemy. New meta. New meta. The first ability is going to be an AoE medium physical attack. Also debuffs the enemy's magic stats by 30% for 4 turns. Her second ability is going to be a single target strong physical attack. Life steal 30% of damage dealt. I like that. I like that a lot. Then her third ability is going to be an AoE whole team increases your magical resistance by 30% for four turns so already based off of just these two characters alone we're going to be a very magic based uh type of banner so that's something that i feel is very good we definitely need that we've been physical based ever kind of since we started the game lafia being our best magical attacker uh having these two come in is definitely going to be a nice change of pace if you will then for our assist, we have a four-star Hestia. She's going to be endurance-based. At MLB, her whole team will get a 100% stun resistance. The whole team's the whole enemy team's decreases their endurance by 8% as well. That is huge. Uh, taking a look at her stats very quickly, uh, she will have that S tier on. Uh, endurance but then her strength and magic are going to be identical at 354 so that'll be useful for you know whether you wanted to put on like your healer let's say a fells maybe or let's say you want to put it on someone like your oka that'll be really good so the fact that they're both the same it can go either way depending on what you want to use it on or who excuse me then we have our three star amid assist it is endurance based as well. At MLB, the whole team will have a 100% poison resist. Now, endurance based 253. This is going to lean just slightly towards the physical side, just you know 225 to 206, but 100% 
poison resist at MLB is huge. That's huge implications for trying to, to switch up the meta when it comes to war games. I like this a lot. Get something else in there, whether it be sleep, silence, taunt, charm, whatever the case may be. I like that a lot. I like it. Then the next one we have is going to be the three star Dion. I, I don't know how to say this man's name. He is the event farmable unit. It's trash, by the way, according to what they say. At max, the self buff resistance is by 60%. So we do have 346 magic. Everything else is going to be under 200. This is a free unit. So I would still suggest getting, hey, you know, you know, a free unit is a free unit. You know, I ain't gonna hate on it. Doesn't mean you gotta level it up completely. But self buff resistance, I would assume that uh oh here we go we do have it right here was too ambiguous the three star dion at max has 60 percent ailment resistance ailment aka poison sleep stun slow taunt and charm so having a 60 percent ailment resistance to everything that's really strong because imagine a war games where you're like okay uh, we do have uh, a poison resist here of 100%. Let's say, you know, you get this this amid assist MLB. Then you turn around and like, well, uh, I still don't have any of these other assists. Like, let's say a sleep resist or a stun resist, whatever the case may be. Charm resist. And you turn around and you fight somebody that has that. Well, if you have this fellow right here on somebody just, just to be safe, you know, just to give you some type of resist on your best character... I'm gonna say worth i'm gonna say worth now obviously there are other assists that have better stats by all means but if you want to play safe play for that defensive game just to be 100 percent safe just to try it out it doesn't hurt definitely does not hurt especially if you have terrible assists like myself and you got to use two star assists three star assists it could come in handy later down the road i'm just saying now guys uh to be honest uh, if I were to if I were to say uh, should you pull at least based off of these translations uh, If you want some magical type characters, this is definitely gonna be the banner um, Man, I'm telling you I really do like this Lily man this Lily right here. Look at this 1300 uh, Magic 775. What is this one? I believe this is gonna be uh, Agility maybe I think that's either agility or dex. I know it's one of the two. That's some pretty good stats there. And then for our balance type character. Oh, why is that one still blue? For our balance type character, man. Uh, poor Naza. She doesn't have anything at least at a thousand, even at MLB. So that's very, that's kind of lackluster. I'm not going to lie to you. So without a doubt, as far as characters go, Lily is going to be the best character from what we're seeing right now, definitely got the stronger stats. And that third ability, I just cannot get over that, man. Shields against two physical attack hits. If your Lily throws this out at any point in time during the match in war games, you just got another Chloe Lolo MLB uh, ability right there. That's just huge to me, man. That's huge. Then the implications for PvE, like whether you're doing Record Buster, dude, imagine this in Record Buster, dude. You block two whole physical attacks man that lily that's the character to go for baby and then as far as your assist go uh people are gonna you know it's just gonna it's just gonna be uh kind of subjective to what you like or what you want you know the stun resist will be helpful in particular uh pve quests and very particular uh record buster quests whether it be the one that's out right now you know then they could skip it then the next one after will be stun the poison resist is going to be definitely helpful, but, you know, it is what it is. If you've got two or three different anklets on your characters for war games, it might not be as helpful. So just remember that going into it. But uh, I'm 100%, 100% I'm going to try to get this Lily. Uh, just reading her abilities, man. Even though her, uh, her special is going to be that single target, I'm still gonna have to say worth, man. That's juicy. I really like that Lily, man. I really do. What do I gotta say, baby? Uh, so that's definitely the character that I'm gonna be pulling for. Guys, let me know down below what y'all think about these characters. Who do you think is gonna shine the best? Who do you think is gonna be the dark horse out of 
the batch what do y'all think about these general these units in general let me know down in the comment section below guys thank y'all so much for watching hope y'all enjoyed the video god bless and peace out